Hi everyone, my name is Jordan. I'm part of the sales team here at Cloud9 Insight. And today I wanted to take you through how we can change, edit and manipulate a Dynamics 365 view. Now to do that, you can see I'm looking at the accounts entity here and I'm looking at view accounts demo one. So as a use case or just example situation for this demo, let's assume that I don't like the way some of this data is presented to me. So for example, the fact that I can't see the full email in this column, it's cut off halfway through. The fact that it's presenting me with the, the city information. I just don't want to see the city information. I don't need to see where this organization is from. Perhaps I also don't like the way that this information is presented in terms of the order. And I would rather see the account manager further to the left as just a couple of examples as to why I might want to make some changes to this view. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to make these changes or, or manipulate what we see in Dynamics, we use this tool at the top right of our screen called Advanced Find. It's a little funnel icon that you'll find at the top right of your screen. Now, when we open that Advanced Find tool, what we're presented with is this Advanced Find solution. Now, this is how we create our views. It's how we save our views, but it's also how we edit our views. And it's very important to make sure we're looking at the exact same view that we want to edit. As you'll see, this is reflective of the different views we could be looking at within Dynamics. So I'm going to choose Accounts Demo 1 here. It's reflective of my Accounts Demo 1 that I see in Dynamics. So I know I'm good to go to make some changes. Now, to make these changes, I'm going to use the Edit Columns function at the top here. And this is how I can make all of the changes that I had first suggested at the start. So number one, there's some information in here that I don't want to see. And that was the city, as it were. You can see I've got my address city column on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is highlight that individual column and remove it. Very simply, press OK and it will no longer be there. This is all reflective of what we see in the Dynamics view. The columns are exactly the same. Now, perhaps I want to add some new information to this view and I can use the add columns function here to do that. So in removing the city, it may be the case that I want to replace that with the number of employees at this organization, in which case I'm going to find that field from within our account record, select it and hit OK. And then you'll see that that number of employees field is on the right hand side uh, of our view now. Now, I also didn't like the order that this information was presented with, and I thought maybe the account manager should be further to the left than it currently is. Now to do that, we'll use these simple arrow instructions on the right hand side. So we selected our account manager column and I'm going to move that over to the left next to the primary contact column. The final thing I wanted to do was change the spacing of some of these columns. So, for example, I could see the full email address within the column. Now, in order to do that, I will go into my email column and then press change properties and you'll see that this individual column is on the smallest width. Now I'm going to increase that to 75 and that should give us enough room to view the entire email address as it is. And I can save those changes uh, and view it all in one go. It would also be important for you to see perhaps how to change the, the sorting or the way that this information is filtered. And in which case you would be using the configure sorting tool here, which just enables you to choose which column you want to sort the information by and there how you want to uh, sort it, whether it's ascending order or descending order. Now I've made those changes. I've increased the, the size of my email column. I've changed where the account manager column is. I've removed the city and I've added number of employees. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to save those changes that I made. Of course, very important that we save them or in fact, we could save it as a, a new view entirely if we use the Save As button. And then I can go back to Dynamics to see those changes. So we'll see at the moment, we've still got our, our old view, which doesn't present the full email address. We can see the city here and our account managers may be in the wrong place. So we're going to refresh our Dynamics solution and enable that to feed in the changes that we've made from the advanced find tool. And you'll see now that I've got a full view of the email address. The account manager column has moved over into the middle and I've now got my number of employees field visible on the right hand side. There are a lot more things that we can do with the advanced find tool. There's a lot more that can be done to change the views uh, and what we see in Dynamics based on the information that we would like it to present us with. So if you have any questions at all, please do let us know and reach out. If you have any questions about Dynamics 365 in general, again, please do reach out and we'll be happy to help. And if you'd like to have a discussion as to how Dynamics 365 could help your organization, please do get in touch. 
and we'll be more than happy to discuss its benefits for you.